Kamusta po? This is Joylene from Captain's Mix and Magic. Um, I was browsing sa Facebook kanina and I am a member of Bake Happy Manila and I saw sa posts na nagtatanong sila paano daw mag um, costing nung uh, free recipe na shinier ni Chef Dan Basilio. So the request was made by the BHM member Renz Ferry. I posted that I might be able to help him out by making a video and I asked permission from Chef Bam and Chef Dan and pumayag sila. So ito po yung video na ginagawa ko ngayon. <laughs> so the recipe is Chef Dan Basilio's foolproof macaron recipe. The demo was done live and then um, the video is uploaded free for Bake Happy Manila Facebook group um, membership po ito. So, if you're not yet a member, you can search it on Facebook and then request membership. There is no fee. You just have to share ideas and be there as a support for all other baking enthusiasts. So, that's what I'm doing right now. The video was in cooperation with Global Pacific. And the group is spearheaded by Chef Bam. So, I asked their permission and they said it's okay. Sure. Okay. So, ito po. So, thank you for allowing me to do this video. And I hope this helps you, your, your um, conundrums on costing your recipe. So, ito po yung ingredients quantity based on the recipe card. The egg whites, nakalagay po kasi doon in, in two separate parts ng recipe, 60 grams and 60 grams. So, in ko lang po. So, it's 120 grams. The almond flour there is 200 grams. For those who are asking what is almond flour, pad yan din po yung ground almonds. So, kung wala po kayong almond flour or ground almonds, pero meron kayong whole almonds, you can grind it. Uh, you can use a blender or a food processor if you have. So, yun. What you can do is weigh the almond and then add the powdered sugar and then grind it para po hindi maging paste yung almond. And then, refined sugar is 200 grams. Tapos, kinuha ko po yung buttercream recipe na nasa recipe card ng L'Opera French Pastry. The egg yolk is 60 grams, refined sugar 150 grams, and butter is 200 grams. Uh, may mga nagtatanong po, bakit hindi in cups, bakit hindi in um, in tea, tablespoons or teaspoons, ganyan. When we talk about food costing kasi, um, mas maganda siyang metric, meaning it's in grams or in ml. Kasi mas madali siyang makompute. Uh, for one thing, a cup of sugar does not weigh the same as a cup of flour. Or a cup of water does not weigh the same as a cup of oil. So, iba-iba po kasi yun. You cannot immediately translate a cup to 250 grams or 250 ml. You have to test it out. Which is why meron po akong asterisk sa egg whites and egg yolk kasi I had to test it out. I broke 6 eggs so here I broke 6 eggs and then divided it ito yung yolk, ito yung egg whites. So the egg whites was around 200 ml and then the egg yolks was around 100 ml yung lower meniscus niya is on 100 upper meniscus yung ayan, yung bubbles. So, when you measure, ang titingnan nyo po sa guhit yung sinasabing lower meniscus. Ah. Ayan. <laughs> Paano ba yun? So, ito yung halimbawa, ito yung beaker or container. Tapos, ito yung graduation. Ah. Okay. Ayan. Kunyari, yan yung graduation. Tapos, meron dito nakalagay 100 ml. Yung liquid po, laging may upper level tsaka lower level. Parang ganyan. So, titingnan nyo po kung saan tumatapat yung lower level. Yan yung 
lower meniscus, upper meniscus. So, yung lower meniscus po yung titignan natin. Okay, so, for the egg test, I broke 6 eggs na costed me 215 per 30 pieces. So, it turns out it's 667 per piece. So, 6 egg whites got me 200 ml or 190 grams. So, minesure ko in ml tapos tinimbang ko rin siya. Okay? So, yun yung lumabas doon. Sa egg yolks naman, 100 ml and then 90 grams. Again, I measured it sa um, graduated picture and then I weighed it sa analog weighing scale. Okay? So, ito yung lumabas. So, if we're going to assign cost, lumalabas, 667 is 200 ml and 190 grams. Lumalabas, 6.67 ah, sorry this is 6 eggs po eh diba? gets? pero kailangan ko makuha kung magkano yan, yung 200 ml tsaka 100 ml kaya ang ginawa ko po dyan diba, 1 egg is 6.67 tapos it measured um, 1 third yolk two-thirds white. Kaya lumabas po, ito yung computation. Yung 667 times 6 equals 40. 40.02. Okay? So, one-third is 1334 1333 tapos 2/3 is 26.67 okay so yan po yung naging cost niya malinaw po so lalabas 26.67 kada 200 ml or 26.67 kada 190 grams okay so, hukunin natin from that is yung cost per ml. 26.67 divided by 200 ml, that's 0 0.13. And then, cost per gram is 26.67 divided by 90 grams is 0 0.14. Ito siya. Okay? Kasi cost is 20, sorry, 26.67 divided by ilan yung ml? 200 tapos this one is the cost 26.67 divided by ilan yung grams? 190 grams yan yung lumabas na value okay so so far that is just a given yan na magiging basihan natin sa cost per unit na nandito. Okay. So, market price pwede nating ilagay. This one is 26.67 for every or 190 grams. Okay. Tapos, ito naman 13.33 for every 90 grams. Kasi yung sa recipe natin is grams. Kaya ang gagamitin natin na value is this one. In grams. For recipes that call for ml, ito yung gagamitin natin na value. Yan. But since hinanap nga for the recipe is grams, ito yung gagamitin natin na value. Okay? So, we'll fill out the table na ito. Okay. So, magkano ang per unit cost ng all-purpose flour? That's 465 
divided by 500. So, that's 0 0.93. So, this is in pesos na po. 0 0.93. Meaning, for every gram, it's almost 1 peso for every gram. Okay? So, yung powdered sugar naman is 1.9 kilos or 1,900 grams is worth 180 pesos. Magkano siya per gram? Same thing, 180 divided by 1,900 is equal to 0 0.094. Okay? So, pwede nyo na siyang i-round off to 0 0.09. So, magkano naman ang per gram ng egg white? That's 26.67 divided by 190 grams. 26.67 divided by 190. That's 0 0.14. And then, yung pa, uh, refined sugar is 54.75 per kilo. Magkano yung per gram 54.75 divided by 1000 that's 0 0.55 ah 0, 0.0 sorry 0 0.055 kasi imo-move lang din natin yung decimal so lalabas 0 0.055 Kasi rounded off na siya from the 75. Okay, so ito yung cost per unit. Sa buttercream po, yan, 13.33 divided by 90. That's 0 0.148 or 0 0.15. Okay, 54.75 divided by 1,000. Again, that's 0 0.55. 0 0.055. Then, 290 per kilo. Ayan, 290 divided by 1,000. That's 0 0.29. Yan yung per gram values nila. So, anhin po natin to. Ito yung multiply natin dito sa lahat ng nagamit. Okay, so, 200 grams ng almond flour would be 0 0.93 times 200. That's 186. And then, 200 grams ng powdered sugar, 0 0.094 times 200, 188. Ah, no, 1880. Sorry. And then, um, 120 grams ng egg white, that's 0 0.14 times 120, 1680. And then, 200 grams ng refined sugar, 0 0.055 times 211 pesos. Okay? Double check lang po natin. 0 0.93 times 200. Yeah. 186 pesos. So, i-add lang po natin to. 186 plus 1880 plus 1680 plus 11 pesos. 232.60 Yan po yung um, recipe cost ng macaron shell. Okay? The buttercream naman po, 0 0.15 times 60 grams, 9 pesos worth of egg yolk. Okay? And then, 0 0.055 times 
150 that's 825 pesos worth of refined sugar and then 0 0.29 times 200 that's 58 pesos worth of butter okay add din lang po natin yan 9 plus 8.25 plus 58 that's 75.25 okay so ito po yung recipe cost naman ng buttercream kuha po Okay. So, may kita nyo rin po dito, 13 pesos, 0.33 every 90 grams, ba? Tapos, 60 grams lang naman na nakuha nyo. Kaya, yung lumabas, yung cost is lower than yung market price. Ibig sabihin, sa computation na to, sobra yung egg yolk. And, may kita nyo po, sa test ko ng eggs, sobra nga naman. Ayun yung sobra ko ng egg yolk. Ayan pa. Tapos, sobra din ng egg white. Okay. So, ito po is um, the food cost pa lang. So, how much is yung isang buong recipe? You have the macarons, which is 232.60. And then the buttercream. which is 7525 Total po niyan is supposing na gamit niyo po lahat ng buttercream sa isang batch din ng macarons that's 30785 Okay Yung 308 ah uh, 30785 na yan yan po yung presyo ng 40 pieces of shells enough for 20 macarons. Let's say, nakapag-pipe po kayo ng 40 shells, whether um, an kung ano po yung gusto nyong size, basta yung pinaka-yield po, dun nyo po i-divide. Okay? So, nakagawa po kayo ng 20 na macaron sandwiches daw, kunyari. So, that's 30785 divided by 20. Okay? Divided by 20. Each macaron is 15.39. Yan po yung puhunan ninyo sa ingredients. Okay? So, now, papano yung pricing? The question was, magkano nyo po siya binibenta or ganun? Um, the suggestion is, uh, you can use the rule of thirds or the food cost percentage of 33%. Dalawa po yan. Okay. So, here. Divide ko. Rule of thirds and the food cost percentage. Sa rule of thirds po, ang base price is the food cost times 3. Rule of thirds eh. So, 15.39 times 3. You can sell it at 46 pesos and 18 centavos. Okay? Pag food cost percentage po, it supposes that the whole price, the selling price, Yung buong selling price, kunyari yan po yung selling price. Food cost is part of the selling price. And if you say it is food cost percentage of 33.33, .33, that is a mathematical equivalency to the rule of thirds. So, paano po yan? 33.33. .33. Ito daw yung food cost. One third siya, so 33.33%. .33%. Okay, to get that, it is 
divided by 0 0.33 33 equals 15.39 divided by 0 0.3333 so the result is still 46.17 okay so it's a difference of 1 centavo okay ngayon nasa sa inyo po yan kung gusto nyo mas mataas ang food cost percentage nyo the rule is, mas mataas ang food cost percentage equals a lower selling price. Ibig sabihin, mas mataas ang um, puhunan nyo, mas liliit yung markup ninyo. Okay? So, ibig sabihin din yan, kung mag-assign tayo ng food cost percentage, let's say, instead of 33.33, gusto nyo taasan yung food cost para mas mura, Let's say 45. Let's compute that. 15.39 divided by 0 0.45. Magkano yan ngayon? 15.39 divided by 0 0.45. 34.20. Ayan. Mas mura yung magiging selling price mo. As opposed to 46. Pero, ang division na nyan, ito yung selling price. Almost half na yung food cost mo. With this one, yung food cost percentage na 33.33, more than half of the selling price is allotted for your overhead and markup. Okay. Dito naman, almost half, that's about 55%, is divided sa overhead and markup. Ito, this is around 66%. Okay? So, sa question po kung paano nyo ipepresyohin, Nasa sa inyo rin po yun kung gaano kataas kayo willing mag-set ng food cost percentage. Okay? So, if you do the food cost rule of thirds, ito po siya, times 3. Or, this is also termed as the multiplier. Sorry. Multiplier. Meaning, you multiply it. Dito naman, in percentage, you divide it. Okay? So, yung so multiplier, let's say, times 3, inassign mo siya sa tatlong aspects. Yung ingredients, yung overhead mo, tapos yung markup mo. Okay? Sa ingredients, that is yung 15 pesos, tag 15 pesos yan, naka-allot sa budget mo. Ito naman, by percentage ang tingin mo. Ang tingin mo is the whole selling price na kagad. Okay, so pabalik, um, magkaibang perspective to, pero in the end, the point is for you to be able to save up and to allot a budget para sa business mo. Okay, so kung may question pa po kayo, just message lang po and then I'll try to answer as soon and as much as I can to be able to help you in terms of pricing. So, to the BHM member, Renz Ferry, I hope this answers your question. In terms of pricing kasi, pareho kayo, pare-pareho tayo pwede ng ingredients or ng recipe, pero nagkakatalo rin tayo sa size ng portion, sa dami ng nagagawa. Tapos, depende kung paano mo isa-standardize yung recipe, kung gusto mo mas matamis or ano yung palaman naiiba yung presyo dun but at least in this way I hope I showed you how it can be computed and how you can arrive at the costing and use that as your basis 
para sa yung pricing. Kasi, bago ka makapagpresyo, dapat nakapag-costing ka. So, thank you for um, um, being patient with the video. And, I hope uh, it helps you. Not just for the macarons, but for any other recipe that you might need to be costed. So, thank you to Chef Dan Basilio and thank you to Chef uh, Chef Bam Piense Naves and I hope you all have a good day. Bake happy! This is Joylin from Captain's Mix and Magic again and thank you for watching.